Good morning, Plum here, playing World of Tanks and back in the garage. And a short little follow up video to the um, mission specials that are now available. Uh, it's day two. What have I done so far? Well, you can see on the light tanks, I have done a couple. Onto the third one, the pursuit. Of course, I didn't point out yesterday, it's been added with an annotation that you can scroll down and below the light tanks, you get the medium tanks. Then you get the heavy tanks. And then you get the tank destroyers, and then right at the bottom are the SPGs. And so you're going to want to have to start playing SPGs if you want to complete these um, special missions. It's just Wargaming's way of making you play everything in your garage. And being rewarded with, well, you've got to admit it's probably a bit of an ugly tank with those uh, panels on the side, spaced armor. Um, but still, never mind. Everyone I've spoken to seems to be most excited about getting this T-55A. does look rather cool. I think everyone's agreed. Um, so we'll be rushing through this, rushing through this and seeing who can get this first. I imagine someone's already got the uh, Stug 4, no doubt. Um, so it looks like down here you also get a itemized sort of you know, where you are at the moment. Still got to do my SPG, so maybe we'll do that one on this video here. You can click on it. It is quite an interactive little uh, pop-up window, this. Things drag you around all over the place, and it works. Um, so that is started. I've got to cause at least a 1,000 hit points of damage to enemy vehicles, and you get a bonus if you win the battle. Tier 4 or higher. These are all Tier 4 or higher. So let's bring up some artillery. Now, a way you can get rid of the, um, rid of the window that appears at the end of the match, and it's blank is to update your XVM and your mods in general and then it should work just fine. Let's take out the GW Tiger. P. It's important. The P. The brackets. The P. <laughs> so Erlenberg, we've got a good good map here for artillery. We should be able to pull out a result, I hope. Yeah, I'm glancing over at the enemy team to see what their artillery player is like. He's got a lot of experience, so I will expect a counter battery if I fire, I'll move, I think. Yeah. At least for the start of the match anyway. Where do I put my artillery on this map? I don't often play artillery on this uh, particular map. I might go down to the riverbed. Getting some slightly low ground. Oh, actually, actually, actually. Those campers at the uh, castle over there, chateau, whatever it is, I'm going to uh, try and get shots on them, I think. So I'm going to want to move over in this direction. Engage autopilot. Chug, chug, chug. I went the GW Tiger P. What is that gun elevation like? <laughs> That's pretty epic. <laughs> Yeah, you can tell he's having a look. <laughs> he's like, wow, man, your gun. <laughs> That's really, really upright. <laughs> oh, that tickles me. Don't say anything, please. <laughs> it just does. <laughs> right, I'm happy now. Good spot here. I'm near the water so I can drown myself. You know what I'm saying. Let's see what we've got to look at. IS-3s. They're going to have to get closer if I'm going to shoot them. Was that T-34 going to come down here? Gonna aim from back fire. Yeah, I don't really want to waste a shot. These are it's long reloads on this gun, so I do not want to waste a shot. I imagine he'll come back any second. Uh, the AMX. Move slowly with purpose, plump. Slowly with purpose. Come on, AMX M4 45. Firing. Come on, be lucky. <laughs> That's not so bad. Travel time was not so bad. 
I'm not going to move because this is, I think this is an unusual spot for artillery. I don't think he'll be looking here. It's easier to do counter battery when there's lots. Lots and lots of artillery. Come on. I can't hit the other IS-3 from this position, which is a shame. Firing. Nice. <laughs> uh, wait for the rage. Right, I'm going to turn my attention to this uh, KV-3 over here. And we'll see. I'm afraid you're probably dead, Rhymatile, to be honest. Can't shoot any quicker than I can shoot. He's been tracked. Where's he going to go now? Is he going to turn sideways on? Firing. That was close. close. <laughs> he should have died, shouldn't he? Being hit by this thing. Score. We're just winning this. Just. I just need a little bit more damage. Another. What is it? 54 damage to get my um, first stage of the special missions completed. Do I turn my gun? Yes, I will. I'll turn my gun. Let's uh, bring it over here. Who can I hit? IS-3 is poking again. That's going to have to be a pretty accurate shot to hit that guy. Come on, have another little look. Is he going to back out? I'm going to get my gun reticule realigned over here. Just in case he he hasn't backed off. I don't think I can do much over here now. The way these tanks are positioned. Right, let's move. Oh, here's the KV-3. Come back for more. I can help you A43, I can help you, I can help you, firing, he should be dead, gotcha. Uncle Plum to the rescue, uh, where should we go next, tier 7 against uh, tier 8 heavy and uh, tier 7 heavy, I, I think he's dead days over. If he gets into cover, maybe not. Four seconds. Ooh, I'm glad I never fired then. Firing. Ah. Need to hit one of those birds then that was flying across the screen. What a shot. Special medal. <laughs> Duck Hunter. So we should, having destroyed the KV at the end there, I've done enough. So if I do update my XVM, this would now display something. And how are we doing the team? Yeah, fifth on damage done. Not so much on the whole XP front, but yeah. We turn a profit. Let's check our missions and yeah, scroll down to the bottom and how it's a strike done. So the only real pain in the neck in this whole process is having to keep coming down and keep clicking start to do the next one. Why it just can't roll over? It seems utterly ridiculous. Anyway, got a long way to go before getting this Stug 4. Still, I think it's a good thing. It's certainly um, yeah, enriched the game a little bit further. You could uh, make a point of sitting down one evening and think, right, I'm going to get these ones done and uh, pursue that goal. Although sometimes it can be to the detriment of your team if you're trying to do something very specific with your light tank, for instance like just spot a couple of tanks, you're going to do something a bit silly and not just play the game. So uh, try and play smart as well as uh, getting these goals achieved. If you can do both, well then you're probably a better player than me. <laughs> but um, 
I like it. It's a good situation. Everything's good. Keep your heads down. Drink plenty of water. And I'll do some special missions again real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.